I don't know what happened. We were recording this originally. Unfortunately, when I paused it, it just wasn't registering as unpause when I pressed the U button. I have hotkeys, so I can just do it quicker. But unfortunately, something just went wrong. So I'm going to have to go and check a few things later. Fingers crossed, everything's fine. If it is, brilliant. So just to recap, we played Philosopher's Stone. Or, as Americans call it, Sorcerer Stone. Now we're on to Chamber of Secrets, showcasing the beginning of this. If you want to see a playthrough of this, it is on my Squire VWG Gaming channel. I know a lot of people Harry Potter's first always ask, ah, so are we going to do this? And it's like, was very eventful yeah. Indeed. So I've just made sure... Well, Along with his I'll talk friends, about it after. Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. <sighs> but now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared. And shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Beds empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Well, it looks like they didn't, because if you look at the story, they ran into the door. So why are they near the gate? Explain that one to me, game. But anyway, doesn't matter. Hello, Harry. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the Burrow. Come on, Harry. If the goal is not you have to say his name like three times in a row. I think he gets the message. Oh, thank you, mate. Come on, let's go. You don't have to say Harry, Harry, Harry. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Harry. Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long. Harry, you can... Try and flipendo these crates. At least um, he's not saying Harry a lot, a lot of times this time. I like the script as well. The script's like. That's it, Harry. Now the other one. The script's kind of like. I think it's brilliant. Ronald. Oh dear. Watch me and. Okay, your turn, Harry. Well, let me have a look at the car. Pretty cool car, to be fair. Oh, we don't need it anymore. Huh. 
Tell you what, it is a big house though. Plus it's really famous for one thing. Will we ever know the function of a rubber duck? I do have the Harry Potter right. GameCube games coming on, the but they're scheduled for ages, so you've got a, like over a year to wait. Right, Harry. <coughs> Go. Sixty pipes. How many pipes has this guy got? Seriously. In fact, where is he getting them from? I'm throwing logic into this, okay? Don't judge me. Shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non magical junk. Hilarious. Right, let's go find Dad. Yeah, let's go find Dad. Chicken. Chicken. Small chicken. Okay, I had enough. <gasps> Chicken! At least we can go back to the burrow. Dad leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx so we can get through the gate. Alright. Well, while we're at it, we also, we also want to collect um, beans. That's one of the things we did not do in the last game, is collect any beans. So I should have said, really, what should have happened. So if you're wondering about the old game, there's two things you've got to think about with to remember. Beans and passwords. So in the old game, You've got to find beans in a certain place, give them to Fred and George, they'll give you the password, you take that password to the portrait, you get an oh, item. Look. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. I'll just do it for me then. All right. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a pass game, I'm making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavor beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may, whenever you get a wizard card. It is put into your Folio Magi. Press the select button. This will show you the Folio Magi 
and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards. The silver cards and the... Which, funny enough, is actually the opposite or opposite. Gold is on the other end for some reason. Also, I've got a question. How the hell does she know about this? She's not even been to Hogwarts. This is her first year. And, if, and she's already telling you what's going to happen. Oh, there's its eyes on top. Well done, Harry. Here's a famous witch, Felix Summerby. There we go. Best find Bron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. Um, why are you running like that? So yeah, just keep on making it eat all these and you get beans. And there's different colour beans. Normal colour and different colour. Colors. I don't know what's up with the pause button. I think I'm gonna have it's to restart. To hear, See you later. See you later. God forbid. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. It's just through the gate, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. Holding the X button levitates each piece of junk. Use your directional buttons to move the junk about and press the triangle button to drop it off. Could you charm them and drop them onto the rocks, please? Maybe we can find those gloves. Remember, Harry, it's just like the charms club. Lift up the crates and... The Okay. Wingardium Leviosa! Let's do this. Back to the rocks and... Nope. That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa! It's whatever comes out last, so don't worry. If you think, oh, I've got it wrong, don't worry. Nothing's wrong. That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa! And... Pop. 
Well done, Harry. Nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we do the learned. Not learned. We've relearned it. And why? Because well we learned it last year. Check in. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these to fling enough. Once you reach the Right, so all we need to do is just make a high score. We don't have to hit everything. Just get a high score. Press the triangle button to throw. Nice one. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> nope, I've done it again. <laughs> I mean, we are going to get a higher score, but we should get, we need to get a certain amount in order to get the wizard card. You can beat your high score. Oh, there we go. That's gonna hit the car. <laughs> that should get us the wizard card now. That's definitely got us the wizard card. Yeah, easily. Easily a wizard card. Excellent, Harry. That's your all time highest score. Yardley Platt. Was really good fun. Do you want to play again? No. <laughs> no. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Um I won't be playing it again. But at least we got somewhere. Um if you wanna keep if you have the game and you wanna continue, but by, by all means get playing. But if you wanna get the game I'd recommend it. You can play it on PS3 or if you have a PS1, play it on there or PS2. Um, you can even get an emulator. But in the meantime, you all take care and have a nice day.